Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at an important aspect of development that isn't normally taught. And that's thinking about style guides and style conventions for Python code. This tutorial aims to answer a common question of what is the correct way to sort Python import statements. So if you are new to Python and Django development, this is a, a snapshot here of a piece of code, which has some imports here at the top. So when we're talking about imports, we're talking about the resources that this page or this code might require in order to perform some sort of function. So typically at the top of our page, you see these imports here of other resources, which we bring into this page so we can utilize and create some other functionality. So here in this tutorial, the question is referring to um, how do you actually present this list in a way um, that's useful, um, that's readable, that's consistent? Because there are different types of imports um, that we can include in our Python code here or in our page here in our Django project. So how should we sort them and in what order? So this might seem like a really kind of trivial question but in actual fact, we want to try and order these imports so that we provide or maximize, like I said, readability and consistency of our code. But later on in the line, we want to be able to easily see what imports are being included in the page. Because for example, uh, it might be that something is updated. So we want to potentially try and find and these resources as quickly as possible. So potentially by or arranging them or organizing these imports into different groups, it just makes it easier potentially for us to actually find the resource that we're looking for and then potentially solve any problems that might be occurring, for example. So here we're going to have a look at the style guide for Python PEP8 and then have a look at some of the different approaches. So the PEP8 guide does provide us some uh, suggestions or recommendations on how we should style the imports, but doesn't necessarily give us the whole picture. So potentially there's room here for providing or using our own style in certain situations. Uh, so we do our best to potentially follow the PEP8 guidelines, um, but potentially there's room for changes. Now, then we move on to having a look at Flake 8 and iSorts and packages that potentially is going to help us sort the import automatically at the top of our Python pages. So just looking at some of the, the basics here that we can follow. So remember, PEP8 uh, is the Python guidelines, stylistic guidelines that we don't necessarily have to use. Um, but of course, if we're making our code consistent, it makes it more readable and other people then obviously can contribute and utilize our code. So PEP8, first of all, describes that imports are always put at the top of the file. It's recommended that they are placed after any module comments or doc strings, and then potentially before any kind of module global or constant variables, for example. So also your imports should be usually and be placed on separate lines. So let's just take a look at an example. So just going into GitHub, for example, we're looking at the Django repository. Here is just a, a page that I've opened and you can see this uh, in place. So here you've got uh, some sort of commentary up the top here um, that is placed up the top. And then below that, you can see we've got some imports and you can see that they are, or it looks like they have been formatted in some certain way. So these are kind of all of our imports here. And you notice that there's a space between this top section and this bottom section. So PEP8 goes on to describe or recommend that imports should be grouped. So we've just seen that. We've seen kind of the standard library imports. Uh, so that's the standard library, the standard Python library in this case. So for example, let's just go back here. We can see some of these standard, li standard library imports at the top here. And then we're recommended to use a space and then we have some other imports. So here we've got the Django imports. So at this point, this would be referred to as the related third party imports. So that's the second area of imports. 
Then, for example, we might have local application or library specific imports. So if we just go back to some code here. You can see that, for example, here I'm linking in Python, sorry, in Django uh, to some models. So that would be um, standard or that would be the local application library specific imports. So here we have three, a recommendation for three separate groups um, for our imports separated by blank lines. So PEP8 takes us that far, provides us that recommendation. But then there's some other questions that we might be asking ourselves. So for example, how should we sort the imports in each group? So we know that potentially we're using three groups, um, but there's maybe a number of different imports in those groups. So how should we then go ahead and arrange those in those individual groups? So although we may look at PEP8 for style guidelines, the truth is, or the reality is that depending on potentially where you work or where you're developing, uh, different style guidelines might be utilized. So PEP8 provides a kind of a base and there are other resources that we can look at for standardization. So it may be that some may choose to list the imports in each group uh, using the import style. So there's different ways or different uh, syntax or different types sorry, of imports that we might have. So maybe we, we kind of group things based upon the import style. Now, additionally, we might also use, for example, the line length. That might be one another approach and that just makes it uh, the page look nice and potentially it draws our eye down the imports and it makes it easier to read. So remember here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to style our code to make it as readable as possible. So the final example, which is generally the recommendation if you read around, uh, is this lexicon graphically uh, within each group. So essentially alphabetical in each group. So list in each import in each group alphabetically. So if we take a look at the, the Django code here, so this is again from the GitHub Django, this is just one of thousands of code that you can have a look at. You can see here that they've done exactly that. So we've got two groups here and you can see that they are in alphabetical order. So here you have to kind of follow the line a little bit further until you get to um, the alphabetical order. But it looks like they have used the lies alphabetical order and that's very fairly consistent throughout all the documentation or all the documents and code within Django, for example. So of course there's a package package available that's going to help us to perform those actions automatically. So we don't have to go around and actually check in all of our code and putting in all the spaces and rearranging, etc. So here we have Flake 8 with iSort. So if you're not familiar with Flake 8, that's a package that's going to allow us to uh, scan our code and suggest changes that we need to make in order for it to kind of conform with the PEP8 style convention. iSort is the package that's going to automatically arrange our our imports in a way that uh, follows the PEP8 guidelines and also arranges in alphabetical order. So obviously all we need to do is copy this and pip install this into our project. So there's two ways, once you've installed the package, there's two ways of working with this. We can just type in flake eight and that will then give us a list of all the uh, known recommendations, styling recommendations that we need to change on our page. So you can see it identifies the actual page and then the pay and the line number and then where along the row we need to kind of provide, in this case, a blank line. So it's also going to provide you uh, information about the imports and maybe there's changes that you need to make. So in addition to that, we can also run iSort. So if you have a look at these imports here, you can see that I've got uh, Django imports, and then I've got the local import up here. So hopefully we'll see this being rearranged by iSort. So iSort then dot. So skip one file. Um, maybe we just need to kind of save that, apologies. So we'll do that again. There we go. So you can see now that um, this has been sorted uh, to meet that PEP8 guidelines, and it also is going to be in alphabetical order. So that's going to apply that to the whole project, all your project files in this case. And there we have a simple way of trying to conform with PEP8.
So just one other thing that potentially you want to try and avoid if you can is utilizing the star to kind of import everything. So avoid access, accessing all imports. Uh, so don't ever import things that you don't need. Uh, potentially that's going to cause uh, future unforeseen problems and potentially opens up security concerns. So I do hope that was useful in some way. Hopefully that's kind of introduced you to this idea of style convention in PEP8. Now, like I said, remember that this is a, a, a guideline that um, potentially you can follow and uh, depending on where you work potentially or a project you work on, they may have different style, style conventions. So just be careful of that. Um, but potentially now by running Flake 8 and iSort, for example, that's going to create a much more readable consistent code within your project.